Today, I'm taking a look at the Muse S Athena, a brain sensing headband designed to help you train your mind and improve your sleep. I've reviewed the previous two iterations of this device, and while Athena looks nearly identical to the last model, don't be fooled. Under the hood, this is the most advanced version the company has released so far. This device is for anyone interested in meditation, mental performance, or just getting better quality sleep. It's especially useful for people who want more than just a guided meditation app. This is for those who want to actually see what their brain is doing and learn how to train it. Now, the device still uses that soft, breathable stretch fabric that makes it comfortable to wear all night or through a focused meditation session. The headband wraps around your head and fastens with a clip at the back, just like before. The pot is magnetic, snapping into place right in the center. But now the design has been tweaked the sensor pod is slimmer, the LED lights stay hidden when inactive, and there's just one low profile button on the underside. You press it to power the device on or off, and a couple of tiny LEDs confirm that it's working. You can hand wash the strap, just remember to pop the pot out first, definitely don't get that part wet. These are the sensors as you can see, you have a bunch of them in the middle and two sensors uh, at each uh, side. Uh, now here's what's new. The Muse S Athena introduces something called FNIRS. That stands for Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy. What it actually does is measure how much oxygen your brain is using. So Muse uh, used to tell you what your brain was doing with EEG. Now it also shows how hard your brain is working to do it. Think of it like adding heart rate to your brain activity. It's about effort, not just result. So when you're focused, Muse doesn't just track how calm you are. It tracks how much cognitive energy you're using. That's a big leap forward. EEG has been upgraded too. Higher resolution readings, better internal referencing, and a more stable connection all make for smoother sessions. It's quicker to lock on and there are fewer hiccups mid-meditation. Heart rate tracking also gets a boost with new PPG sensors that now use three different wavelengths for more accurate data. And for anyone who switches between devices, Athena uses a Bluetooth LE 5.3. It's faster and more stable than before. I actually easily connected it to both my iPad and my iPhone and was uh, able to switch between the two devices whenever I wanted to. Battery life hasn't changed. You still get about 10 hours on a full charge, which is uh, enough for a few meditations or a single night of sleep tracking. You'll need to top it up regularly though, so especially if you use it uh, every night. So let's recap the difference between Athena and the earlier versions. Compared to Muse S, Athena adds the FNIRS sensor upgraded EEG and PPG components, a faster Bluetooth chip, and silver thread electrodes for cleaner signal. You also now get visual feedback not just from brain waves, but from brain blood flow too. It's the first time the company has combined these metrics in real time. Here you can see a table uh, that outlines the biggest differences between uh, the latest three versions of the device. Let's talk meditation. Muse S Athena still runs everything through the app. Setup is simple, pairing is quick, and it works smoothly across iPhone and iPad as mentioned. All the usual modes are there, mind, heart, body, breath, and timer. You can choose how long each session lasts, select the soundscape, and in some modes, follow guided instructions. For me, the mind meditation is still the standout. You sit quietly, focus on your breath, and as your brain calms down, the soundscape fades. Birds chirp when you're doing well, and it's a strange but cool experience like controlling the outside world with your thoughts. The sound helps you notice when your mind wanders, then pulls you back. And if you prefer silence, there's an option for that too. For this calibration, find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Muse is now listening to your brain signals. Relax and let your mind flow naturally. You soon hear the sound of birds chirping. That's when your mind is quiet and that's what you want to aim for. Also the sound of the rain in this particular mind uh, session will be lower when your mind is quieter. It's a sign that helps you notice when your mind wanders, so you drift back into focused, relaxed focused.
there's also a new mode called strength. That, that is where the fnirs really comes into play. You're shown a horizon and asked to focus hard. The more mental effort you generate, the faster an owl flies across the screen. You're not relaxing here, you're actively focusing your brain like a muscle. You're actively working your brain. The goal is cognitive endurance, and it actually feels like a workout. And it's not as easy as it looks. You really have to focus either on the horizon or on the sun in front of you. And then, as you can see on the left-hand side, the speedometer will increase as the blood oxygen, as, as the oxygen flows into the frontal area of your brain. And you need to maintain that focus for the owl to keep flying. So it, it does take a sustained effort. And the, the goal is to travel the longest distance that you can in a set amount of time. So this is actually an open eye session uh, where you're actively looking at the screen. Now another cool feature is the ability to view brain waves uh, in real time uh, in the app. You can see a live feed of your brain's activity during sessions broken into gamma, beta, alpha, theta and delta waves. And with Athena, you also get a real-time view of your brain's blood oxygen levels. So it's not just uh, for curiosity. This kind of feedback can help you understand how your brain responds over time. It honestly is uh, very interesting to watch and a cool feature, definitely. Muse S. Athena also introduces two new post-session scores. They're called Cognitive Performance and Brain Recharge. Now, they're available after each session, but they're also available as a timeline, uh, so you can view your trends if you're improving or not. Cognitive Performance tells you how sharp and focused your brain is based on something called alpha peak frequency. Brain Recharge, on the other hand, gives you a read on your mental recovery using alpha power. They're early days, but both feel genuinely useful. The only downside is you'll need the premium subscription to access them. I really hope the company does reconsider this because they are kind of core to the experience and they add quite a bit because uh, you can actually follow your progress in time. So these are probably some of the most useful stats you can find in the app. News S Athena also tracks sleep with the same kind of detail it brings to meditation. EEG measures brain waves, PPG handles heart rate, there's breath, motion, and now brain oxygenation data. It's not something you'd wear every night, but for occasional check-ins, it's hard to beat. The app gives you a full sleep breakdown, including a sleep score after each night. In terms of accuracy, I compared Muses Athena with the Garmin Forerunner 955. The total time in bed was almost the same. REM and deep sleep were also close. Where Muse pulled ahead was detecting wake periods. It picked up brief moments when uh, I was awake that Garmin missed. That might be because Muse uses brain activity instead of just heart rate and motion, and I tend to have a very low heart rate as it is. So as far as sleep tracking, Muse S Athena is probably one of the most uh, accurate devices out there. One feature that stands out is called Go to Sleep Journeys. It's basically a responsive bedtime routine. The sound adjusts in real time to your brain and body state, gently guiding you towards sleep. Once you're out, it fades out. And if you wake up, the digital sleep pill fades the audio back in. It's subtle and honestly kind of surreal, like your dreams and the sounds start blending. Now, just a quick word on safety. Muse S Athena uses passive sensors, EEG and FNIRs. No electrical current, no radiation, just low level infrared light and surface voltage reading. These are the same types of sensors used in research and clinical settings. They're non-invasive and considered safe. That said, listen to your body. If anything feels off or uncomfortable, take a break. So that's Muse S Athena, the most advanced headband the company has produced so far. It brings upgraded sensors, smarter software, and a clear move towards personalized cognitive insights. On the surface design, the design is familiar and comfortable, but inside, everything feels more refined. With the addition of NIRS, the device now tracks not just your brain states, but how much mental effort you're using in real time. The EEG and heart rate sensors have also been improved, offering faster, more stable feedback. Meditation remains a strong focus, but new features like the strength session add a sense of progress and challenge. Sleep tracking is still a standout, helped by tools like Go to Sleep Journeys and the Digital Sleep Pill. Uh, at uh, around $475, it's a premium device, but the level of insight and functionality it offers makes it feel worth the investment if you're serious about understanding and improving how your mind functions. Let me know if you tried it and if you've managed to make the owl fly very fast. <laughs>